Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Weekend, Oklahoma now becomes the fifth state that would allow for certain sex crimes to be punishable by death. Oklahoma State Senator J. Paul Gum joins us from Dallas, Texas this morning. He authored this bill that the state's governor just signed into law Friday. Thanks for being with us this morning, Senator. It's a pleasure to be here. Explain who or what types of crimes would be eligible for death penalty. It would be those perpetrators who commit a second or subsequent offense of child molestation against a child 14 years of age or younger. Now, some argue, look, the death penalty is for people that kill people. In these instances, the victims are still alive. Well, we allow the death penalty for people who kill the body. We shouldn't allow someone to escape who has killed a soul. And time after time, that is what a child molester does. He destroys a life and kills the soul of his victim. He is more than deserving of the death penalty, in my judgment. In this situation, uh, you're, you, you have it at, at age 14. There are other states, I believe South Carolina has it as, as low as 11. Um, would it be a case, though, where even if this was given, uh, this punishment was given, it would just be argued back and forth in appeals for years, and you'd see these guys still, uh, what, just rot in jail? Well, and that's a good place for them. If we're not going to be able to remove them permanently from society, having them rot in jail is a, is a good place for them. Also, this bill provides for life without parole uh, as well. So if the death penalty was ever ruled unconstitutional, and I believe it will stand constitutional muster, they're still going to be removed from society forever on a second or subsequent offense. Right. You know, and the thing, it is so troublesome because we, we, we know that there is such trouble preventing these crimes from happening again, meaning uh, we have these Megan's laws, we have uh, state by state, they really vary on what they're trying to do in terms of keeping sex offenders away from children. It just doesn't seem to work. Why not? Well, I think the problem is these are people who are never ever going to be rehabilitated. They are beyond rehabilitation and they're going to continue to harm children until we stop them, either by putting them in jail forever or by giving them the death penalty. And I believe this sends a very strong message in the state of Oklahoma to child molesters. If you're going to harm our children, we're going to exact punishment on you that meets the crime. And even though a child molestation victim continues to live, they suffer lifelong effects. As a matter of fact, I've gotten right. hundreds of emails from all over the country and around the world and a lot of them are from child molestation survivors. One lady is unable to bear children because of what happened mm. to her as a child. How many lives were ended or will never see life on earth because of the actions of this one child molester? Good it point. does destroy lives and is more than deserving of the death penalty. All right, Oklahoma State Senator J. Paul Gum, thanks for joining us. And we're going to talk a little bit now uh, about whether or not this would be upheld by the Supreme Court or would it be ruled uh, unconstitutional? We're going to ask criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Paul Callen with us in studio. Uh, thanks for being with us. Nice to so be Oklahoma here. is the fifth state now to test this out. It's never actually happened yet, meaning no one's ever gotten the death penalty for something other than murder, correct? Well, people have gotten the death penalty for since things other than murder, but it's probably been 40 or 50 years since such a sentence has been imposed in the United States. Since we brought States. it back, right, in yes, 1976. We, yeah, we brought it back 30 years ago, and there's been a very restrictive trend of allowing it only in cases of murder. You have to go back, by the way, in 1977, this is the last time the Supreme Court ruled on it, they said you could not impose the death penalty in a rape of an adult woman case. That's the closest thing on point that we've seen in recent years. And, and the face of the court has changed. So what would happen now, in your opinion, if it came back up? Well, I think we've seen, we have a much more conservative court. The court is looking to uphold the death penalty. But nonetheless, there's a reluctance here to impose the death penalty in this kind of a case. So I think it's an uphill battle constitutionally. I think the American people would probably support this. People have had it with child molesters. Most people think they can't be rehabilitated. So there's a lot of sentiment to put them to death. But the Supreme Court, I think, would be very, very reluctant to uphold this. My prediction would be probably it's unconstitutional, but it's a very close question. Wow, very interesting. All right, Paul Callen, thanks for your insight as well. Coming back, we're talking weather worries with Dr. Witkin.